Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Salesforce. Home. So in this video, we are gonna talk about Salesforce certification roadmap for beginners. So guys, this video is especially for those who are freshers and who are new to the Salesforce ecosystem and they want to complete, like they want to appear for any kind of Salesforce certification. So what kind of route they can follow so they can can apply for the Salesforce certification for that particular role. So guys, let's start the video. So guys, the first role in the Salesforce ecosystem is of Salesforce admin. So basically a Salesforce admin is a person who better understand like how to make your platform work better with, with different kind of strategies. Guys, if you have a dream to become a Salesforce admin, so first you need to go for the Salesforce administrator certification exam. And after that, you can apply for Salesforce advanced administrator exam. So guys, it means that Salesforce Administrator exam is prerequisite exam for Salesforce Advanced Administrator certification. And guys, apart from that, if you are interested in more, so guys, you can also go for Platform App Builder certification too. So guys, this is the option for admin, but I think uh, admin should go for this certification too. Then guys, our second role in Salesforce ecosystem is of Salesforce developer. So guys, the Salesforce developer is normally a person who develops and deploys custom business logic and designs custom interface using programmatic languages like LWC, Aura and other. So guys, simply if you want to go for this particular role like Salesforce developer role, so you can, guys, you can go for platform developer one certification. Normally, we can also say, normally we also pronounce it as a PD1 certification. And guys, then after that, it comes PD2 certification, means platform developer 2. But guys, you need to keep in mind that before you go for platform developer 2 certification means PD2 certification first you need to complete PD1 certification and after that you need to complete these three super batches that is Apex Specialist, Data Integration Specialist and Advanced Apex Specialist after that guys you will become eligible for PD1 certification exam and apart from that guys if you are interested in front-end development part so you can go for JavaScript developer 1 certification so guys in this certification there is one prerequisite of LWC super batch. So guys, in this you need to complete Lightning Web Components especially super batch first and after that you will be able to apply for JavaScript developer certification. Then guys, third role in Salesforce ecosystem is of Salesforce consultant. So normally a Salesforce consultant works to help the company meet their missions by driving client specific implementation as well as ongoing system improvements on the Salesforce platform. So guys, if you want to go for this particular role like Salesforce consultant role, so guys, first of all, there is one prerequisite administrator certification like first you need to complete Salesforce admin certification first and after that you will be able to apply for another Salesforce consultant uh, certification exam like service cloud consultant, community cloud consultant, sales cloud consultant. So guys, if you want to pursue for field service lightning consultant certification, so there is also a prerequisite certification for that and that is of service cloud consultant. And guys, I know that I haven't added all the certifications which mainly in developer role and consultant role so guys later in this video i will also explain that how you can you check the prerequisite certification cost and what are the percentage criteria for different different topics in that particular certification exam uh, from prelet so guys just be on the video till the last and you will got to know all that answers guys if we talk about the fourth role in the salesforce ecosystem so that is salesforce technical architect so guys simply a salesforce architect are big picture thinkers and in their problem solvers they design system for the long term that stand up to high values as simply if you want to pursue for this particular role like if you want to accomplish this salesforce technicals architect role so guys there are lots of prerequisite certifications so guys before technical architect certification you need to complete all this certification from bottom to top like you first need to complete uh, application architect certification so for completing application architect certification you need to complete platform app builder pd1 sharing and visibility designer data architecture and management designer certification after that you will be able to apply for application architect certification then there is a second part of that in which we need to complete that pd1 integration architecture designer identity and access management designer development lifecycle and development designer certification then after that you will be able to apply for system architect certification once guys you will complete application architect certification and system architect certification after that guys you will be able to apply for technical architect exam so guys these are some common roles and common certification which are done by most of the salesforce employees but guys let me tell you like how where, from where you can check the details of the other certification and what are the pricing and other details for any of the certification so for that guys let me switch back to the trailhead so guys simply you need to log in into your trailhead account like salesforce trailhead account and after that you need to hover on this credential labeling and after that you need to click on certification part 
then after clicking the certification part you will able to see all the roles available in the salesforce ecosystem like salesforce administrator salesforce architect salesforce developer salesforce marketer and all that for example you want to check the pricing and other details of any particular salesforce certification for example let's say administrator you want to check like what are the price and what are the percentage like which topic consist how much of percentage in the certification exam so for that so for that you just need to click on that certification and you just need to select this one like trail of salesforce trailhead study for administrator certification exam just need to open this trail one not the trail mix because trail mix consists of all the chapters which you need to complete like from where you can get the idea for all the topics included in this particular salesforce certification exam but if you want to get only the basic details for that particular salesforce certification so for that you need to open the link of trail Salesforce Trailhead Trail. You just need to click on this Study for Administrator Certification Exam, and after that, you just need to click on that Get Started with Administrator Certification Prep means preparation. And in this module, guys, you will be able to get all the details regarding it. Like these are the topics will which will covered in your Salesforce Administrator Exam, and this much percentage they will cover in that particular exam. Apart from that, if you scroll it down, so you, here you can. get like what are the passing score for that particular certification exam number of questions and what will the cost for that so guys in this way you can check the details for any certification like for any salesforce certification and apart from that guys if you want to check any other salesforce certification prerequisite for example let me go back to again salesforce certification section and if i select salesforce architect one like salesforce architect role so there is a certification whose name known as system architect so here it is so if i click on the system architect so it will shows that what are the prerequisite super batch or certification that we need to complete before applying for this particular certification so guys if i scroll it down so you can see that these are the prerequisite certifications like development life cycle and deployment architect identity and access management architect integration architect and pd1 so after completing all these four certification you will be able to apply for this particular certification whose name is system architect on your prerequisite it means that these four certification are the prerequisite certification for system architect certification so guys that's all for the video if you find this video a little bit helpful so hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so till then goodbye and have a great day